<clears throat> Merry Christmas. I'm here. I have to show you who's with me. This guy, he's getting so big, huh? Merry Christmas, you. Now, don't chew on my hand because it hurts. He likes to give love bites. That's what cats do. I know you don't know about cats. Um, but they're really very nice. They're very nice creatures, but they're very different from dogs. Uh, so, I was just thinking about you, and I realized... That video from yesterday has already got a bunch of views, even though it was just addressed to you. And some, I've got some people very kind of upset or something. I don't know. Sorry, guys, but <laughs> didn't mean to, uh, um, you know, people don't know what our situation is, B. Uh, so, um, I don't know who am I going to talk to. I'm going to talk to B. And if anybody else stumbles across this, um, uh, look up Twin Flames. If you find this video puzzling, look up Twin Flames, Twin Souls, Divine Compliments. It's all the same thing. And then watch the video again, I guess. B and I... Because we are twin flames, communicate telepathically. Um, but that's the only communication we have. And I would like us to come into a 3D union. And telepathically, he agrees with me, yet I do not see things manifesting in... 3D. So B, I feel that you do watch these videos and that you're one of the people that watches, but for some reason you don't reach out. I suspect it's from fear. Um, and you are feel overwhelmed. I know you're shy and you feel overwhelmed. And you don't know how to approach me. And you psych yourself out all the time. So I thought if I told you about myself, maybe the whole thing would seem less intimidating. Um, I guess you feel some pressure about something. That's the word just pressure just popped into my head. I don't know. Some kind of pressure. I hope I don't I hope you don't feel as though I am pressuring you. Um but I will say time's a wasting. You know, time's a wasting. And but then again, divine timing. Oh yeah, divine timing. <laughs> uh Anyway, I will tell you about myself. I really was hoping we would be talking on Skype. I hope that, that we would long since be talking on Skype and that we would be quite comfortable with each other and we could just, you know, chat whenever we feel like it. Just because I think Skype is a great thing, especially... In your position, where you have to really watch who you're talking to, security issues. Um, but we can we could see each other and hear each other, and it's the next best thing to being there. You know, I certainly can't reach through the screen and and grab you or something or cause you harm in any way. Uh, and on my end of it, I would know that I was actually talking to you and not somebody trying to impersonate you. 
because of your situation, you know that there are people out there that are scammers and they use your name and your reputation to trick people into relieving them of some money. Hey, I'm so and so and you know, because it's me, you know, you would you would be you lend me some money, won't you? Because I'm this because I'm this special important person, you know. Watch out, guys. So it's really not fair to people like us in our situation. Because I have to ask somebody, are you who you say you are? And all they'll say, well, of course I am. And then they'll get all bent out of shape. And it's very awkward. Um, but you see, Skype would bypass all of that. Unless there's, you know, a way somebody can... Well, unless the person had plastic surgery or something, but anyway. Uh, so I really, I just thought I would try to put you at ease, um, tell you who I am. You sh I think you know by now, but I guess I might have been assuming incorrectly. So this is me. This is the person you hear in your head. Hello. Uh, hopefully the voices match. Although I know you often, people tend to hear their own voice, even in telepathy. But I feel as if it's if it's a very strong connection, or if you have actually heard that person's voice, then you might actually hear their voice in your mind, or maybe kind of a mixture. Um, it's whatever the strongest image is, I guess. Anyway, I guess I'll give you sort of a biography. Um, vague, somewhat vague, since this is a public video, but just so you could get a sense of what I'm about. Because I know your history. Well, I know what you've told the public anyway. Uh, so that's all I know. I haven't read your book because I know anything you say in public has been prepared for the public. So it's all going to be, it's, you only are going to tell people what you are comfortable with them knowing. And I know with you, you're not very comfortable with much of anything. <laughs> You're not an open person. You're very, very private. And I understand that. So I think a lot of stuff that you tell the public is just made up. But because you have to tell them something. So you have to come up with something that's going to promote your image in a positive way. And it's going to win people over. So ultimately, they'll buy your stuff. So they'll come to your shows and buy your, your merch and all that stuff. So, bottom line is anything I see you present to the public, I take with a grain of salt. Okay, so I don't know the, 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 per, the private guy. He's protected by the public guy. This is what I was hoping we, I would like, I, this is why I was hoping we could do Skype so I could get to know the private guy so that you know, I mean, we got this connection here, right? So I thought I would go first and tell you my stuff. And so you can chew on that for a while and you can just watch me from the, the shadows if you're, and I don't know. But I'm, I'll put myself out there a bit for you and, um, there are ways that you can find me. I send you stuff in the mail that has um, contact information in there. Maybe not direct contact, but indirect contact. If you avail yourself of that, there are ways of getting in touch with me. Um, if you were to contact me online, of course, I would have question marks about that. Anyway. Enough of the preamble. So, me. I'm me. Hi. <laughs> um, 
I'm the voice in your head. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, but I am. Uh, I'm a physical human being with uh, two pet cats and um, I love animals. I love cats. I love dogs, rabbits, kind of more than people, <laughs> except for you. Uh, you're the one person that, that I love more than cats and dogs. Um, so, I was born in the early 1960s in Connecticut. Um, I was born when you were 18. Um, and when I was about two, we moved to Rhode Island. I have a brother. So the four of us moved to Rhode Island. My father's family has been in Rhode Island since the 17th century. A very old, old Rhode Island family. So I come from good stock, <laughs> um, for what it's worth. I'm conservative. Um, I have high moral standards. I believe in decency. I have become, in recent months, patriotic. Yep. But I never thought I'd say that, but let's not get into politics. <laughs> That's all I want to get into for politics. So growing up, I went to um, a private school, two private, two private schools. First, um, grammar and high school, and first 10 years was grammar, a grammar high school, private school. And then the last two was prep school. Um, in Massachusetts, near Boston, and um, I'm very New Englandy. <laughs> uh, after that, I uh, went to different different colleges, and I went to art school for a while. I was majoring in German and linguistics because I love language. Um, and, okay, I'm getting bored with my life now. <laughs> um, always felt like there was more to life than the nine to five. Always wanted to know about ghosts and the paranormal and was not a church goer. Um, that just went against my brain from a very young age. It just felt like... I think I was picking up on the hypocrisy. And even at a young age, it just seemed kind of... They, they would tell you you're supposed to believe this, but they wouldn't tell you why. And I want, always wanted to know, why? Why, didn't, why do you tell me this stuff? But, and, oh, well, you're just supposed to believe it. How can I believe it if I don't understand it? <laughs> I guess, you know, I didn't go for the brainwashing. I guess that's what it is. I guess I sensed it was brainwashing. Even at a young age, I sensed it was brainwashing. Because how can, how can you just be... How can you accept, just flat out accept something without some sort of, a, of an explanation for it? Blind faith? I struggle with blind faith. Um, it needs to make some sort of sense. In some way. I need to understand the, uh, the mechanisms behind it. So, anyway. Uh, where were we? So, okay, I guess I'll just say as a teenager, I heard you on the radio, and you were not on my radar at all. Totally, I was interested in a totally different style of music. Yeah, you had all your 10 years of, of pop hits, and 
I I this was I liked some of it, but I didn't like it enough to become a fan. Like, oh, there's another one of his songs, huh? Okay. But I went back to listening to my rock music, not pop. So I guess I wasn't destined to become a fan. Which I think is a good thing. Um, trying to figure out what you would like to know. If we were on a date and you could ask me anything you wanted to. I'm trying to figure out what sort of thing you would ask me. Um, <laughs> I don't know, how can I put myself in your shoes? What would you want to know? about me. Well, let's see, I like animals. I love music. Um, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I have high morals. Uh, I'm not married. <laughs> um, I'm very loyal. I'm a Leo. Leos are known for their loyalty. They're also fire signs, so I can have, I can show temper. I don't like to be pushed around. I have Leos also, I'm, as I read that Leos tend to be, well, they're aristocratic. They have a, a like a regal, regal bearing. And of course, Leos are lions which I think explains why I love cats so much. Um, I, should, I guess I should have written down what I was going to tell you. But I just so wanted to send out another message. Uh, just, had, just had more to say to you since it seemed like the video was finding somebody somewhere. So I felt like, well, since I seem to have somebody's attention, I'll stick with videos. Somebody is seeing that anyway. So the, somebody's seeing the energy. And I just feel like um, uh, strike while the iron's hot. And I will just assume that you're watching and you're just too shy to respond um, I'm sorry that you're shy I'm, I hope I don't make you feel insecure I hope I don't make you feel shy and you just I hope that you're not sitting there thinking everything to death and thinking, what do I say, what do I say, what do I say, I want to say it, what do I do, what do I say? I feel like that's what you're putting yourself through, and I don't know how to reassure you telepathically, you know, I will talk to you in a different manner, but this is somewhat public, so I'm going to be a bit more reserved, but remember the things I tell you telepathically and know that I mean it very much. Um, I really do mean it. And I really... The things I felt from you... I mean, I hate that you're so shy and insecure. And I, I, I know you had to force yourself to be different in public. It's not your natural state. I think you're happiest at home with your pets making music in private. And oh, you're an empath. Because I'm an empath. So all these, you know, like all these energy or around you and I think when you go out 
to perform, you kind of have to suck it up. And then once you're on stage with the music, you're okay. The uh, Because you're an empath, you feel the, the love that comes from the audience and that, that sustains you, that gives you courage, confidence. Okay, I think I understand this now. Oh, okay. So that now that... So when you're off stage and you're just you, and just you have to talk to me, then that's intimidating. Because... How, how do you... You have this desire to impress me. Oh. I'm already impressed. Don't worry about it. I'm impressed already. You got me, okay? You got me. <laughs> Don't you know that? You got me. Would I be talking to you like this if you didn't have me? But hmm, you're uh, self-sabotaging. You need, if you would um, sum it up your gumption and say, it's me, you want to Skype? And we could do that. We could so do that. And it would be okay. And you could show me your nervousness on Skype. That's okay. Just be, be you. Don't put that stupid mask on. I'm not interested in the mask. Just be you. Just be you. It's okay. I'm just being me. So you be you, okay? Okay. So am I making too big a deal of this? Hmm. I might be. I just felt like... I feel like you're kind of there going, Oh! You watch my videos and you go, Oh, if only, if only, if only I had the nerve, if only I had the nerve. So I'm saying in response to that, come on, come on, it's okay. Oh, my hair's bugging me. It's okay, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm just me, very imperfect. We're perfect for each other. Remember that, we're perfect for each other. That's it. Okay. I guess I'm going to stop because this is, I feel like I'm torturing you and I'm sorry. I mean well, but, and I, I, I feel something from you that I don't quite know the best way to respond to. I just want to offer you love and reassurance and a comfortable environment so you can relax and we can just talk just talk and i'm sorry i get frustrated i think you get frustrated too but stop psyching yourself out just relax you can do it it's just me i'm just one person who likes cats, which you probably don't quite grasp, but uh, <laughs> you like them. You know, it takes a while to get to know. I don't know. What am I trying to tell you? I'm just trying to show you myself. I see you there. I feel you there in the shadows watching me, and I hope you will find the courage to come out and say hi. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. I don't want to overwhelm you. Oh, so I hope you're having a good Christmas night, relaxing, and we'll just we'll just take this slow and easy, okay? So it's been me uh, sending you love and support and Merry Christmas. Good night.